a chuck wagon RV here. I don't want to speak too loud to other people. I'm in a museum at a uh, casino. I'm trying to think of the name of the casino. Riverside Casino. It's in Laughlin, Nevada. And I was just going to walk through here and see, uh, show you. Peter will really get a kick out of this. So I'll make sure he knows about it. It'll be on Facebook for him. Well, let me show you. These things run around in town <laughs> all the time. We'll give you a little view of everything in this museum. 1934 Ford Deluxe four-door sedan. <clears throat> Very nice. A lot of these cars, I don't even know what they are. Nineteen fifty four Curtis. Don't have any idea, never saw one before. Quite interesting though. Motorcycles. Fifty two. That's the year I was born. It's nice that they have cars I've never saw before. Most of the time it's just old cars that people have restored. These are some beautiful. Peter, this is what you need. A building like this. <clears throat> to show everything you have. You've got a great selection of cars. 1950 Cadillac Converter 62 Series. How much iron is in that? A lot of steel. 1933 Buick two-door coupe. It's a straight eight. Weighs 3,520 pounds. Cost $995 brand new. How about a police Harley Davidson? one's from Illinois. A dealer tag on it. Do not touch. 1949 Studebaker. Nineteen forty one license plates. Twenty nine model Ford A, thirty Studebaker, four door model, thirty seven Cord, Speedster. This one's got some unusual lines, huh, Pete? Franklin. Only worth thirty thousand dollars. Thirty Ford Model A Deluxe Roadster. I think these are all owned. Majority of them are from the casino.
soapbox derby car. <laughs> Casino tables, gaming tables. Real. Restored vehicle. Pins and patches from visitors. So if you have any pins or patches, you can send them to this gentleman here and he'll post them. From all over. Wow. 41 Hollywood Ram. Amazing the condition of these vehicles. Black and white towing. 1934 Ford tow truck. I'm going to try to back up to get this in the view. I guess even back then you had to get. Uh, towed occasionally. Take a glance at the Colorado River. There's the swim pool. They have taxis that run you back and forth. Because you can park on the other side of the river. There's a Sam's Club over there. And uh, take the taxi. I don't see any going up and down the river. There was a few minutes ago. I'm standing on the third floor of the casino and I'm gonna zoom in and look what's out there. Chuck Wagon RV is in between a motorhome and a, a scully. Been here for one night, got here in the evening last night. That's how many campers are here. And there was not an empty spot when I got here. Yesterday evening. The weather up north got a little too rough. So I uh, decided to... A 1915. Leather straps holding the hood down. Huh. Two-seater. This is Laughlin, it's just casino, 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 casinos. This is the only one that's RV friendly. So of course everybody's here. Can you see the uh, RV park across the street? Can you zoom into that? It's got a, you can see it way up in the mountain there. There's campers galore here. As far as I can see, the campers. 19 Ford, 1914 Ford Model T truck. There you go. Anything old. Police stations from all over the country. A DeLorean, 1981. <laughs> Looks like it's made out of stainless steel. Could be aluminum, I guess. Low mileage, 
sports luxury feature the slim front end. I like the 41 Willie. Get your hands on that. Boy, nice. Packard. Everybody likes Packard. Nineteen forty-eight Packard convertible, Super Eight, electric windows. <laughs> Mustang, nineteen sixty-six Mustang GT convertible. You can even put your cars in this museum. And they'll display them with your name as the owner. Now, that might not be a bad idea. That way they're preserved for people that come by. And your name will be here. A 51 Chevrolet half ton. What is that? Studebaker. 1964 Studebaker. This museum has a lot to offer. It is one of the biggest museums I've ever been to. And right below me is uh, the casinos. And uh, they provide this floor for all the cars. Well, they restored this one, huh? It was in rough shape when they found it. Well, it's a Pontiac station wagon, 1940. Six cylinder, 222 cubics. Four hundred and ninety were made, twelve known still exist. And it's owned by Barbara. Can't pronounce that name, but Newberry Park, California. Buick, 1955 Buick. Looks like he's won a few awards, huh? A 70 Chevelle. My brother had one of these. Nice. 68 Corvette. Chrome bumpers. I love them. I don't like the Corvettes with the plastic bumpers. How about this one? 70 Dodge Super B. Purple. <laughs> 63 Corvette split window. Wow. Let's scan through these cars. I'm going a little too fast. 57 E-Bird. Mercury Skylane What a car, huh? You'd look pretty good driving that You and Claire going out for a Sunday drive, huh? <laughs> this I like. El Camino 68 Super Sport. Like that one. There's your tools. Came with you to keep that thing on the road. Fifty-seven Plymouth Fury, fifty-seven Chevrolet, wow, it's 
spare lane. Oh, be. Let's see, in 56, I was two years old when they came out with stuff like this. An Oldsmobile Starfire. I actually was a proud owner of one of these at one time. Had a magnificent motor in it. Really quick. Let's see what motor's inside this one. I think mine had a, yeah, the standard 394 cubic inch V8. Riviera, <laughs> 63. Look at that. And he actually has two buildings. Um, there's another one. This is the. Uh, this is the big, big boy. The other one is uh, downstairs on the main floor. You can walk through. Rather small. 55 Chevy Bel Air, hardtop. How about a 77 Lincoln Mark V? That's nice. Fifty four Corvette. A Ranchero, that's the uh, equivalent of the uh, El Camino. Ford Ranchero. Can haul a little bit. Look at the Woody, huh? <laughs> 26 TC car. 57 Cadillac. Two door coupe. It's from Prescott, Arizona. Randy allowed him to park his car here. And there's a spot for your car. Peter, let's put your car in here. <laughs> Get your name on a plaque, they'll make it up for you. And it'll always be on display. This is probably climate controlled. Probably a good environment for your vehicle. Unreal. Love it. Great job, folks. Great job. I like this Laughlin area. I've been here a couple of times already. This will probably be one of my regulars. Uh, the door's open on that one right there. Well, I remember that car. <laughs> I don't remember what year it was. But man, what a car. I always had a thing for the Oldsmobiles. I worked for Oldsmobile and enjoyed them. I shame they had to leave. I'm gonna put this on pause for a second and let some of these people get away. I like this Plymouth Fury, 57. That's when fins were very popular. All the little model cars. And of course, no shows complete without NASCAR. This is a 20 minute video of a lifetime of restoration to a bunch of automobiles. I hope you all enjoyed it, because I certainly did. And uh, I'll have to make this one of my regular places to come back to. Uh, I'll be in the area here for another week or two. 
Uh, fuel prices are kind of hurting me just jumping in and driving a couple hundred miles. It's just not working out. I've got to hunker down. Payday is next week, Wednesday, so we'll be able to uh, support my habits. But anyways, take care. Talk soon.